Hello and welcome. In this video, we're, we're told, and here's the problem, that you are at a landfill and you want to dig a hole, right, to hold garbage that is 700 feet by 200 feet with a depth of 85 feet. So you can imagine that, that this hole, right, and we have to assume this here, is some kind of rectangular prism where it's maybe 200 feet in one direction and then 700 feet in another, let me fix that line, 700 feet in another, right, so you have this top of the hole right there, and the depth is about 85 feet. So it's kind of, a, in comparison to its dimensions, it is rather, you know, a shallow hole. And we're asked, well, if you were to fill this, right, if you had a bunch of garbage, right, and you were to try and fill this, how many cubic feet of garbage could you fit into the land hole? And then we want to talk about, well, well, we'll get to the next question after that. So how do we figure out how much garbage can fit in here? Well, this is really a question of volume, right? We're looking at the space that this hole takes up. And to find the volume of a rectangular prism, we multiply length by width by height. And you might just see it written as LWH. And sometimes it looks like 1WH. Be careful, that's an L. All right, so the volume is the length times the width times the height. Here, right, our, we'll call our height our depth. So h is equal to 85 feet. And the length and the width doesn't really matter, but in the diagram I set the width here to 700, right, this long line. So that should be 700 feet. Maybe that, 700 feet. That will equal the width. So L equals, and I always write uppercase L's, so I don't mix it up here for myself or for my students. And here the length here is 200. 200 feet equals length. Oh, I'm sorry. I, this is the width, 700, and the length is 200 feet. And I, I could have switched that around, I just, I mean, I said, I called the width here and called that the length, sorry, I didn't mix you up. The length is 200, width is 700, height is 85. And we'll label the height here, 85 feet, okay. So here it's just a matter of, of actually multiplying all of this stuff out and using law of multiplication or, or whatever technique you want. But here you can start, I would pair up these two, they're a little bit easier to multiply, right? 7 times 2 is 14. So if it's 10,000 times larger, 14 ten thousands makes 140,000, right? So this is 140,000 feet, and the feet are squared, feet times feet, feet squared. Then we take that and multiply it by 85 feet, because we haven't multiplied that out yet. So what's that? Well, I'm just going to plug it in here. You can do the long multiplication, but I'll leave it to you. I'm just plugging it on my calculator. 140,000 times 85. Well, here we have feet cubed. Right? We're finding cubic feet. It means the same thing. And you can think of it algebraically. A foot times a foot times a foot is a foot to the third power. So here, right, what do we get? Well, I'm Sometimes if I am reading the calculator, it's okay just to read digits and then think about the number as you're writing it. What does this number mean? Well, this means 11,900,000 cubic feet. Uh, it's quite a bit. And I think what's interesting about this problem is that the dimensions, none of them are above 1,000. And yet, this hole can hold millions of cubic feet. It can hold quite a bit. So if we were to fill this hole with garbage, we could hold... Right, almost 12 million cubic feet of garbage. If we were to fill right, this hole and we wanted to figure out how much, how much time we have or, or how long we can do that for, what would we need to know? And the key is that would be the rate right, of flow of the garbage. The rate of the garbage. In other words, are, how much are we putting in each day? If we know that or how much for each month, then we can figure out how many months or days or weeks this pit will last. For example, if I knew that I need to put in about a million cubic feet of garbage per day, I would take this amount, the total amount, and divide it by a million, right, to figure out how many days would this hole last before it was filled. In this case, it wouldn't even last 12 days. It would last 11 days, and then on the 12th day, right, we would fill the hole. So you can use division if you know the rate. And another question they ask, or... Another question we could ask around this is, to dig this hole, how many cubic feet of dirt would you actually need to haul away? Well, that's that, of course, right? To get this hole empty, 
right? You have to take the volume out of this area. So the same amount that would actually allow us to fill the hole, the 11,900,000 cubic feet, is the amount we need to also dig out. So you need to think about where are we going to put this dirt? Where is it going to go? It's quite a bit of dirt. Perhaps we can use it on the streets when it's snowing. Perhaps we can ha somehow help it to reestablish an ecological system. You know, there's lots of great, interesting questions around garbage and sanitation that are often ignored. Um, it's, it's quite an interesting science. So I hope you enjoy this. Thanks.